was a war on, that young Israeli reservists are being killed, not to mention Palestinians. Mind you, those at last night's conference for the victory of Israel in Jerusalem care little for Palestinian life. They think Palestinians should be deported from Gaza to make way for Israeli settlers. At least 10 Israeli government ministers attended the meeting, arguing to resettle Gaza, even though such views are at odds with official government policy. It is time to return home. It is time to return to the land of Israel. It's time to encourage emigration. It's time to impose the death penalty on terrorists. It's time to win. The families on stage have signed up to resettle Gush Katif, Gaza settlements that were dismantled by the Israeli government in 2005. They want to turn back history, to use this moment of crisis to expel Palestinians from Gaza in 2024, as they were expelled from what became Israel in 1948 and from the West Bank in 1967. There will be no Arabs in the Gaza Strip. They will go to Turkey, to Scotland, to Britain. I don't want to kill them. I want them out of Gaza. And we'll use different methods. One of them is not to give them any humanitarian aid. So the countries of the world will have pity on them and take them. At Kerem Shalom, a crossing point from Israel into Gaza, activists, some of them relatives of Israeli hostages, have been trying to turn theory into practice by blocking aid trucks. They're not actually managing to stop the aid, but they say flour and sugar doesn't just feed hungry children, but provides the raw materials for explosives. They see no distinction between Palestinian civilians and Hamas. Inside Gaza, people continue to flee south from fighting between the Israel Defense Force and Hamas in Khan Yunus. They go by whatever means they can find. These are the people the Israeli right wing wants to push not just to Gaza's southern tip, but out to Egypt and beyond. They're dependent on aid from UNRWA, the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees. The Israelis say they have evidence that 12 UNRWA staff were involved in the Hamas attack on October the 7th. Although UNRWA has sacked the accused, some countries, including the UK, have paused funding pending an investigation. We're forced into tents. Our children need to be vaccinated and pregnant women to give birth. Where will they go? Education has stopped. What will these children do? Where will we take them? UNRWA is our future and our life. Who else will support us? Israel's far right has no pity for Palestinian civilians. They may not succeed in resettling Gaza, but the attacks of October the 7th have only served to bolster them. They see this as a moment of opportunity. I 
it's um, a little bit strange to say that Jews can't live in a certain place. It sounds like anti-Semitic in our own land. Why should we be restricted that we can only live in certain parts of our own country?